Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to Stone Valley here on Farming Simulator 22. We're just rolling around this field, planting it again. <laughs> yeah, we're planting it again. So what has happened since the last time we're together? Oh, we're now mid-April, and, well, I had picked up this planter, cedar. It can do both. And... And actually put some clover seed out in this field. None of it come up. Not a single seed germinated. So, we're playing it again. Uh, this time, I'm going with alfalfa. We're going to give that a shot. Uh, maybe we got some bad seed. I don't know. It did rain an awful lot after I got the field planted. So... Maybe the seeds rotted. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I just know that clover isn't happening. So we're going to go with alfalfa. We'll give that a shot, and hopefully that comes up for us. And hopefully we're not too late and can get a good crop of it this year. So that's what we're doing. I've already planted that field there directly in front of us, or replanted it. And I'm on the last little bit here in this field now the cedar is smaller but it's still quite a load for the Kubota the Kubota just doesn't have a whole lot of weight built into it so it does tend to slide it around a bit as we go along so I did end up getting a front weight to go on the Kubota just to add a little bit more stability you see the sunflowers in the adjacent field there have sprouted and are looking great uh, all of the fields have been fully fertilized. Ended up using some of the slurry from our cows. And I got that put out. And also Tiny's back. Uh, so I had him running some contracts for me. We had quite a few, quite a few fertilizing contracts came available. I guess word has gotten out that we like doing that type of work, so, well, I had Tiny running the contracts. Ended up buying another fertilizer spreader. I got tired of swapping the lime and fertilizer out, so we got a three-point mounted fertilizer spreader. We're using that. It does have quite a bit more spread than the uh, spreader we, we had that tow behind. So we're using that to put out the fertilizer and we now have the uh, tow behind exclusively left for line. So that was an expenditure uh, that I wasn't really planning on uh, putting out, but the contracts paid for it and then some, so it all worked out and now we have another spreader. I did buy a disc and another truck. I had a used disc come available, so I picked that up. Oh, well, I purchased it. I still need to go down to the shop and pick it up. And then I also picked a, a truck up, a pickup truck. And that is actually still down at the shop as well. Uh, Tiny had not made it back yet, so when that truck came available, uh, it needed some work. It was a uh, used. But it needs some repairs done. Uh, paint needed to be touched up. So I ended up just having the shop handle that for me. Since Tiny had not made it back. And so it is down there waiting to be picked up. They just got done with the paint on it. And lastly. Miss Betty has returned. Uh, she got back. From Florida visiting her sister and it was like a nuclear bomb went off <laughs> over there at her property uh, yeah undoubtedly that did not go well I went over and talked to her uh, after the fact and 
she was extremely upset with Randy. So, I guess him and her had it out. Randy is nowhere to be found. I think he has skipped out of town. Uh, there's stuff that needs to be done over there at Miss Betty's. And he is nowhere to be found. So I don't know what's going on with uh, him. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be back. I just, I just don't know. So what we have done in the meantime, because we, we got to take care of Miss Betty. So had Tiny work on that old sprayer. If you recall, the sprayer that Randy was trying to sell, he had parked out beside the road. Well, it needed a little bit of work. It was it was in pretty bad shape. So we had uh, had it hooked up here to the Kubota, brought it down here. You see, we got it cleaned off. It looks really good. And Tiny went through it and replaced some of the nozzles. Some of the hosing had dry rotted, so we got that fixed up. And uh, it should be in good working order now. So I'm actually going to use it here and get my sunflowers sprayed since it's down here. And then uh, we'll get this done and then take it back up there and go ahead and handle the spraying work for Miss Betty. I don't want her crop to suffer just because Randy and willing to take care of it. So we're going to take care of Miss Betty, make sure everything works out for her. But we do have weeds we need to spray. Oh, actually, this field I think is good. I don't think there are any weeds in that one because we plowed that. But this one over here to the left definitely need to be sprayed. Now, this old herbicide that was up there at Miss Betty's, we went ahead and used it because... It's old and needs to be used. I hope it's still going to work. So that's where we're at. We have sold a few of our products, the honey, the, the uh, greenhouse goods. So things are moving along, but we have spent, we spent some money and we made some money. So it's all working out. We're coming out ahead. Thankfully. So a lot going on. A lot going on here in the spring. I really hated that I had to replant. I was looking forward to getting the uh, clover crop, but that just did not work out for some reason. So we're going to give the alfalfa a shot and hopefully that'll make good for us. This little sprayer is working out just fine. Can't believe Randy was trying to sell this thing. Now, how am I going to get turned around here? So, the other news is I was able to actually pay back 100000 on the loan. So, that is good. I think I'm down to about 200000 left on the loan. So, still got a ways to go. But, chipping, on, chipping away at it just as much as I can. Oh, and you notice there is a little safety fence up there around the slurry pit. I know I mentioned that before that we probably needed to put something up just to keep folks from getting too close, falling in. Any of these stray cows that get out of the fence, out of the fence, keep them out of it as well. So I put up a little safety fence. I just drove some T-post in the ground and stretched some netting up and uh, should work out just fine uh, it's just more for visibility uh, so I think that'll work out we have used up most of the slurry to get these fields fertilized so uh, that's actually working out really well 
we're able to stay ahead of it. We're not accumulating a whole bunch of slurry, uh, at least not right now. Uh, as we continue on, as our herd grows, that may change and we may have to find uh, something else to do with it. I'm not real sure. But for right now, we're doing really good. Able to use it and uh, saving us a little bit of money in the process. Well, this sprayer is actually working out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this field. And then we will uh, go ahead and run up to Miss Betty's and uh, get to work on her field. Well, Tiny got back from running an errand, so we're going to let him finish up the field here over at Miss Betty's. Uh, he's actually just running around his first lap here. Just not long after getting started. But uh, we're going to let him handle that. And I have the old truck here. We're going to take it up to the shop. And get it sold. I'm going to pick up the new truck. With the new old truck. And uh, swap them out. Uh, the, the new truck actually has a dump bed on it as well. So that's going to work out really good. Uh, we'll still have some some way to haul materials and as a matter of fact the new truck actually has more capacity than this one so it is an upgrade so that is a good good thing I believe the uh, new truck has quite a bit more horsepower as well so if we were to pull a trailer with it, it should haul that much more, uh, much more easily. Uh, I know this truck here does struggle a bit with a trailer attached, so that'll be a welcome upgrade. And then at some point today, we need to get the uh, tractor down here and pick up the disc that we bought. I wonder what happened to Randy. I am really not sure. That guy just disappeared. Park this here in their receiving department. We've already negotiated a price on it, so that has been handled. This is the truck. 3500 Has a dump bed. Man, it cleaned up really nice. They put a fresh coat of paint on it. It's looking good. Much better. Looks much better than when I purchased it. Uh, this is the disc that we bought. That showed up here as... A trade in so it's going to be a little much for our Kubota but I think it'll work out um, we're going to bring that small cultivator disc that we have bring it back up and get rid of that because we won't need it anymore so let me run in here and get the paperwork squared away and then uh, we'll head on back down to the farm but we're just going to go ahead and pull the disc home with the truck here now the disc don't have any lights on it so this is going to be a little bit hairy Hopefully we don't have too much traffic. I'll try to go slow here. Ooh, just about got that guy's mirror. And he's a honking at me. This is a narrow bridge here. Alright, that is the worst part of it there. We should be good to go on the rest of the trip. We'll have to go slow here. Can't go too fast with the disc. So we're going to ease on back down to the farm. Tiny shouldn't be too long left on getting that field sprayed. And then I will be moving on to some other tours. Well, third time is a charm. I hope. <laughs> oh boy, we're in May. 
and uh, spent the morning, well, part of the morning, uh, getting the cows fed, made up some more ration for them, and decided to go ahead and replant the fields again, because as you can see, the alfalfa did not sprout either. So two crops have failed on me, both clover and alfalfa. Neither have sprouted. So I've wasted two months of growth trying to get those crops to sprout. Don't know if it was bad seeds or just what it was, uh, but we're going to go ahead and replace all of it with corn. Here you see I've already done the field across the way there and almost finished with this little plot here. So we'll have some corn going in. I, I really didn't want to plant corn, uh, but knowing that we will need a header that could harvest both the corn and the, the uh, sunflowers, I decided to just go with the corn. That way we can try and minimize the uh, header that we need on the combine. Of course, the other option is to potentially cut it for silage. So, a couple options on the corn harvest, but that's what I decided to go with. Update on Randy. He is still nowhere to be found. Matter of fact, things have kind of gotten bad. The bank where he borrowed the money to get that tractor and planter... Well, they've come looking for him. They're missing payments. He hadn't made a payment. So, they're threatening to uh, re repo the tractor and planter. Uh, that's bad. I, I really hate it for Miss Betty. She doesn't know what to do. So, hopefully they can get that figured out. Hopefully he shows back up with some cash. And can get caught up on his payments. As far as uh, Miss Betty's field, the uh, field's set up and ready uh, basically just to roll on through through the growing season and should, should be pretty much maintenance free. Got all the weeds taken care of and all the fertilizer is applied so she's good to go on that field so hopefully Randy will show up and make things right I'm really not sure I need to find a place to store this planter here really kind of getting low on shed space here and we got cows out continuously and we had to get tiny we're gonna have to run around and check some fences so we got a bunch of stuff here in the shed I may end up trying to take some of it down and, and get it sold I don't know I don't know what I want to do. I hadn't used that bush hog over there in quite some time. Got a couple of front end loader tools there I hadn't used. I don't know if we'll plant any more trees. Might look into a, a different hay rake. I don't know. Got a lot of possibilities and I need to actually continue planting because we have one plot up here at the front that I forgot about. So yeah, three times I have planted the field and it has not grown. So hopefully this works out. Cross your fingers <laughs> that the corn actually sprouts. Having a bit of bad luck here. I tell you, those trees I planted there along the driveway have really come in nicely. The other thing that I have looked into is potentially seeing if the fella that owns that plot of land there wants to sell me that little section there with the barn on it. I could, uh, I could put that to use. But I hadn't been able to find him. Uh, he's been around. Every time he comes down to check his field, I am either away or busy doing things. Can't can't seem to catch him, so I may may try to do that. May, may see if he won't sell that to me. 
Uh, since he's not using it, that old barn that's on his property really can't be used. So, who knows? Maybe I can pick that little piece of land up. Try not to get over on the neighbors. I don't want to plant any corn in their field. The divider between our two fields here is really close. Might need to uh, fix that here in the coming off season. Oh shoot, got into those crates. So that's where we're at. We have got fields planted again. Some flowers are good to go. They have fertilized and have been weeded. Randy's on the run. And I am pulling my hair out trying to get some crops to grow <laughs> down here. So, we're in May. We'll keep on plugging through the summer. See how things go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new to the channel and just hadn't done so, go ahead and click that subscribe button while you're at it. Be sure to click the bell so you're notified of all future content. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope each of you have a blessed day.